Okay, here we are back in Fairy Fencer Ave. Where we last left off, we unlocked the Yadagon Lava Flows quest, but for this one, I'm going to wait until I get the next party member. While off screen, I can show you. Where is the. Quests? Am I overlooking it? Is it actually somewhere obvious then? It's Fairy. Status. Oh, yeah, it's its own tab. So, I went ahead and did the extermination missions, the five Orthoceros, the giant, the three Levon. This has unlocked the supplying medicine mission. If you complete this one, then you go up to rank D. In order to do it, you need to get five energy shards and three mid tonics. If you're wondering where you get the three mid tonics, you have options for this. You can either just buy them from Tomoe's shop, they're a thousand gold each. That's the really expensive route. Or you can synthesize them in a little bit. We will probably be going the synthesize route. As for the other things, I didn't know what I actually have to kill in this cave, like which one appears and which one is part of the world shaping effect. So I went ahead and accepted both of them. We're going to be doing one of these while we're here, either the ice sharks or the hippogriff. So into the Catechus Ice Cave we go. Looks like the hippogriffs are the normal enemy here. Yes! Blood plus four. I'm gonna try to fight the hippogriffs after I reach the save point. That way I can just edit it out in one solid chunk rather than trying to make a bunch of random cuts. So you can see the quest marker over there. It's not actually that far of a trip. And this one I'm gonna have to fight. So right here is the save point. I'm going to go ahead and put a break here while I do the side quest. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I went ahead and did the Mad Merchant side quest. I just had to kill the Hippogriffs. Now we can go complete this quest. Now you may notice the chest back there. We actually can't get that until we make a return trip. Let's just finish this already and go home. I want to get out of this cold and take a nice hot bath. Yeah, let's finish this thing off. Let's go, Chewie. So here's your first of the sprite recycling, which is going to happen quite a bit. So the Orthoceros sprite is now the Fern back to Troy. Back to Troy? I don't know. I'm not going to even bother trying to pronounce that. So while his health bar appears to have gone down, if you look, he has that little box in the bottom left corner of his health bar, meaning he has another bar behind this one. And I think this might be a scripted fight that you're not supposed to actually win. Sadly, they do throw those at you periodically here. It's not over yet. Let's do this. form transformation complete. All right, let's go. As for Fair Eyes, one thing I should explain is, use it whenever you have the chance, pretty much. If it gets knocked out of you, all you can do is just smack the enemy around a bit, and then you can unlock it once again. There's really no reason to not use it in most cases. Yeah, the end of the fight before I could finish the bastard. No use. I didn't anticipate this fierce cold or these slippery surfaces. I have exerted far more energy than I should have. I just needed one more round. And now, all I can do is admit that I did not take this seriously. How shameful of me. Thanks to those two, I completely lost my composure. Normally, I would never make a mistake like this. No. It's my fault for relying on others. The 
the blame lies squarely with me. Damn it! I can't do anything! I can't move anymore! You both should be ashamed of yourselves. It's way too early to give up! Erin... But... my powers are already... There's still a way out of this! Bang! Reset the pair eyes! Wh what Shrunk down and entered the fern back of Troy's mouth. Thanks for the fury. Aaron stole the fury. The back Troy grows weaker. That was close, you guys. What would have happened if I hadn't been here to save you? You saved my life this time. You have my gratitude. Nah, it's fine. After all, we're on the same team. So of course we'll help each other out. I just did what I needed to do. During New Game Plus, you can mow down this monster with extreme prejudice, so... I don't know if this scene triggers, I don't really remember. But it is pretty annoying to be teamed up with dead weight. Especially when that dead weight thinks she's my master. You're not that amazing. Did you just say something? No, not at all. You need to be more reliable too, Fang. You're my partner after all. I can't just use my abilities all willy-nilly, you know? I agree. I would also like to see Fang be useful for once. Oh, shut up! It's not like I wanted to be a fencer in the first place. Hmm. And there's your third party member, Harley. So we have the Christinger, but we're not going to get an ice user for some time yet. Let's go ahead and pull that up. Harley's going to be joining us shortly. And this thing actually doesn't start with any abilities. I'll probably toss on Harley just to level it up and see what it unlocks. But I'm not going to tell you who the ice user is because it's going to be some time before that character joins and that is a spoiler. So in the meantime, yeah, let's just move forward. We need to repair the ceiling soon. These leaks are getting worse. Say, what was that boy's name again? Are you referring to Fang? Yeah, him. I wonder if he can help me out. All he does is sleep, so I figure he's got plenty of time on his hands. Of course. I shall speak to him personally. If there is anything else he can do to thank you for taking such good care of us, please let me know. Really? Then I'm gonna ask him to clean the windows and scrub the latrine, too. Understood. Fang could certainly stand to be more useful around here. Don't you agree, Kiwi? <coughs> oh, I completely forgot. A letter arrived for you. A letter? Here you are. The party invite from the Dorfa Corporation. Party? If you would like, you are welcome to attend with me. Tonight. Eh, I'll pass. Parties are a pain. I'd rather just sleep in my room. I see. And there is going to be so much delicious food there, too. What a shame. What? Are you serious? The invitation states that guests will enjoy a sumptuous buffet for dinner. That means there will be a plethora of food. But if you would rather sleep, I will not force you to come. Aaron and I will attend the party by ourselves. Wait, I'll go! I'm an expert at parties. I'm the party master. When I was a kid, they used to call me Fang, the party animal. I'm sure they did. I have my black belt in partying. In that case, let's all go together. But before we leave, you need to fix the leaky ceiling, clean the windows, and scrub the latrine. What? Quit screwing with me. Why do I gotta do that? If you refuse to do it, I will not bring you to the party. Harsh. What? Are you sure you're okay with that? There will be lots of delicious food, and you can eat as much of it as you want. As much as I want? Seriously? Eating as much as you want is the whole point of a buffet. A buffet, huh? That... that sounds pretty awesome.
Dwarf Corporation is a relatively young company headquartered in Zelwins. They provide many services such as food, real estate, and travel destinations. Apparently, the company has grown drastically in the last 10 years, and the Silver Rising Star is now serving directly under the president, Hanagata. Thanks to Dorma's influence, Zelwins has also prospered. However, their influence on Zelwins government is virtually non existent. Dorf is also involved in many philanthropic enterprises, such as managing orphanages and funding affordable housing projects. For this reason, Dorf is beloved by the public. So, I could do Godly Revival. I don't know if there's any good C rank ones that I can toss this Christager thing into. I'm not gonna use a gun one because. I'd rather use an Earth Element or Harley if possible. Learning? This one is not actually bad. You do have to sacrifice some EXP at the cost of a drop rate, though. Wind protection, gun prowess. Learning is a possibility, but we can also go to the Vile God and see what he has to offer. Adrenaline rush. So, his tend to be higher, I should point this out, but they always have a price, just like making a deal with the devil. So, to point this one out, you get 50% more weapon points, but the catch is, all the spells you want to cast cost double. Since the enemy doesn't have SP to juggle, that isn't a problem for them. Like, that one's not too bad if you actually need money, in case you have to pay off Lola or something like that. This one could be worthwhile. Earth protection, ice protection, EXP up. This one may be worth looking into. And if you use this one in world shaping, you can get boosted physical defense, but you cannot get rid of status effects. Hmm. Not gonna take a plunge just yet, but there's Dorf for the event. We can report the Mad Merchant, collect our motion. For Tomoe, we can't synthesize yet. Let's just move forward with the story later now. This this is a pure story event, there's no boss fights here, in case you're wondering. Typical of a party hosted by the Dorfa Corporation. Many of the people here are actually local celebrities. Isn't the Dorfa Corporation a world-famous company? Why were we invited to this party? Because they know who Tiara is. We are fencers. They've probably heard about us somewhere. Oh, that reminds me. There are other fencers in the world besides us. Fencers are a rare sight in this world due to their special abilities. But that's also what puts them in such high demand. Everyone, including companies like the Dorfer Corporation, seeks out fencers to utilize their skills for various projects. I see. Whatever. I don't really care as long as I get food in my belly. That's what counts. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. My name is Paiga. On behalf of the president of the Dorfer Corporation, I would like to personally thank you all for attending. I think he's the secretary. As you know, our company has expanded to incorporate various businesses that provide food, clothing, and housing to the public. Furthermore, the Dorfer Corporation supports many philanthropic programs, like managing orphanages and running various charities. Pretty sure I read all of this in Aaron's tutorial, but okay. Filling hearts with the sun's radiance. That is the motto of the Dorfer Corporation. Huh. What a squeaky clean story. It sounds suspicious. The Dorfer Corporation is renowned for their charity work. They're the number one company fencers seek employment with. Yeah, that's even harder for me to believe. You know what I do believe? How tasty this food is. <clears throat> oh, yeah. This party represents our desire to foster mutual friendships with the public. Please enjoy yourselves to the fullest. Now then, that's enough for me. We have a special piano performance for you all. Tell me if you recognize the pianist. Mr. Sherman! I hope everyone enjoys their meal and the sounds of Mr. Sherman's piano. May tonight be a festive night for you all. This party may be hosted by the world-famous Dorfa Corporation, but the food is not that delicious. However, the music he creates with that piano seems to enhance the flavor of these dishes for some reason. 
It's so moist. It's practically melting in my mouth. This is the best. This lobster tail tastes so good with this truffle butter. Greg, stop eating off my plate. Then stop eating off mine. Stop it already. Here, have some tea and settle down. I don't need any damn tea. Whoa! What are you two doing? What am I doing? Isn't it obvious? Thanks a lot, Fang. Now the piano is soaked with tea. What are you talking about? That's your own damn fault. It's your fault! Stop this at once, you two. Apologize for your rude behavior. It's quite all right. There's no need to apologize. This piano C note was slightly off anyway. So it totally got what was coming to it, and that's what counts. Huh? I'm the one who should be apologizing. I've clearly subjected everyone here to unsatisfactory music. That's... Please, it's no trouble at all. Phew, I'm glad he didn't ask us to compensate him for the piano. Right, Fang? It's just a little wet from tea. Quit overreacting. I disagree. We disrupted your performance. We are the ones who should be apologizing. Regardless of your piano's tuning, your performance was truly wonderful. As if a rainbow sprang forth from my heart. Your words are far too kind. Thank you. Who does this guy think he is? Acting all cool and stuff? He really pisses me off. And the event you were hoping Sherman would join the party, not yet. Update so far? Huh? What are you talking about? Do you remember anything new? Oh, that. Nope, not a thing. None of the fairies I met recognized me either. I see. Yeah. Good morning. You two, please hurry and wash your faces. When you are finished preparing, we will leave immediately. The hell? Going. I heard something interesting at the door for Corporation's party. Apparently, a holy artifact enshrined in the village of Kidanar is actually a fury. When did you hear about that? The whole point of parties is to meet new people, converse, and forge new friendships. They are not simply for eating free food. Additionally, no less than ten gentlemen flirted with me throughout the night. What are you bragging about? Fifty people tried to flirt with me. Well, actually... It was more like a hundred people. And she says people instead of indicating male. They're competing, you liars. That information about the Fury sounds fishy, too. Are you sure that isn't bogus info? Regardless, it's better than idly waiting here doing nothing. Besides, it appears Lola has no information on her end either. So my wallet is safe for now. I want to gather the Furies as quickly as possible. My dream depends on it. Your dream? World peace, of course. I'm pretty sure you're lying. <laughs> so, Catechus Ice Caves. This has been bugging me for a while now. Bugging you? Are you referring to your clothes? Have you gained weight recently? How rude. That's not it at all. I'm talking about the first time I met you. Ah, you mean when Fang fell madly in love with me and chased me down. Who the hell would do that? Anyway, Aaron, what's on your mind? I was wondering, why TR prepared that chamomile tea? Oh, I just love drinking it. It's very tasty, you know? Personally, I'd rather eat meat. No one cares about your eating habits. I'm talking about the fact that it was paralytic tea. Why don't you go to the trouble of pre preparing that? Well, obviously she did so she could get the fury first. Which is pretty messed up now that I think about it. That is none of your business. No, it's clearly strange. I mean, she found the Fury way before we did. So she could have just taken it and ran off. That, that's... You know, that sort of makes sense. I thought the rumors about the Fury would attract other fencers, and I was planning to steal their Furies once they showed up. That's what I figured. 
But still, I can't help why you didn't try to take me from Fang. That, that was because I felt sorry for you. Liar, you seem really intent on reviving the goddess. There's no way a human will leave a fury behind for a stupid reason like that. Th that's because... Because... Because it will cause undue hardship for a fencer to have their fury stolen, right? Undue hardship? Like I said, it would cause undue hardship if bandits attacked Fang after I stole his fury, right? They could steal all his belongings or just kill him outright. I grew weary of this, excuse me. She left. What the hell? Was she embarrassed? You know, she had that antidote all along. Whatever, I can't keep track of her crazy mood swings. I wonder if that's really that embarrassing. And on that note, we can move forward to the next place, which we'll be doing in the next video. So until then, I'm the Hero of Light.